G'day guys, Jason and Nick here on the Utter Farm. We're actually on the Utter Farm property this morning. I've got Nick on the back of the camera. Hey everybody. What we plan doing today guys, is bringing the girls down to this riverfront area. This is where we normally camp, and this is where our fruit trees are. So we've done a few videos here now. We've never actually had the girls down in this area before because it's quite an extensive trip. We've never actually done a road trip with them. So the road we've got to bring them down through our property is 700 meters long just to get them down here on the river. So we need to have a single hot wire or a single wire all the way along that road, corral them down up into this area. So what we'll do now is we'll get these fences set up, then we'll bring the girls in. So we've got all our temporary fencing up now. I think there's about 1.8 kilometers of poly braid. So we had anticipated running them through cells over the next week and a half down here. But because we've only got 1.8 kilometers of poly braid, we've had to set up one big cell to do them for days. So we have got some more tarragate reels. Then we've got five more tarragate reels, but we've got no poly braid left. So we'll buy some more poly braid now we know how much it actually takes to get the cows up to this spot and then we'll be able to sell graze them. So we'll just do this area enough for four days. So at the moment, what I'm gonna do is set the solar charger on and we'll set him up and we'll uh, head down. We'll grab the quad actually. We're thinking about grabbing the quad this time and hopefully we can videotape the cows running up the hill while on the quad. So throw this on. 
So this is going to set. This is set so we get a bit of the morning sun and the afternoon sun. I put those four earth stakes in when I done the video of running this fence up here, but I haven't had a chance to put the underground cable on. So what I'm going to do now is just go straight off the terminals of this charger and just go off that. So that goes six meters in the ground. I know this is a wet area because it's all green. So there's going to be enough earth, enough moisture to earth this out and get a pretty hot, single hot wire around this paddock. So we'll put that on the fence. Earth to earth. Tighten the, we'll turn him on and find out what we got. So it's saying 6.5, 6 6.7 kilovolts, 6.8. So that's pretty hot, guys. So there's no way in the world they'll be getting out of here. So they're used to a hot wire like that. So they shouldn't even test it, really, because they've been well and truly trained. This could be off and they wouldn't get out. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll go down, get the quad, and we'll bring the girls up. We were going to use the quad, but because we've got the water here for the cattle, because really the water level down in the river is probably a foot low. So it's a foot drop into the river. And if they were to drop into the river, being a mud bottom, there's a lot of leaves there, they may sink in and they may not get out. So we bought the water from the trial property and we're gonna use the water trough. So rather than use the quad, I'll get Nicole to sit on the back of the ute and we'll uh, see if they follow us down. This will be the first time they follow the ute, so hopefully they'll follow. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. <laughs> we wait up, Rainy. Here. They're a bit hesitant here guys, there's a pretty, dried up creek they've never come across before, it's a little bit of a drop in the road. Come on girls! This is really, really going to get bumpy, so please, yeah, sorry. Even bumpier for me than this for you. Woo! Go, man! Come on, girls! Good girls! They're coming. What's on the other side of the trees, hey? Good girls. 
Welcome to Paradise, girls. Righto guys, well that's it. There was a bit of a stall when they came up the road there on that dry creek crossing. But that's to be uh, expected. They haven't gone down that road before and it's probably a foot drop. So and they could see water either side. So, But we, we, we worked our way through it, went up again, pulled them down as you've seen. So what I'll do is I'll let them graze here for the next four days and then we'll come back and see what they've done. Righto guys, have a good morning, a terrific afternoon and a top evening guys. Wherever you're watching this from and we'll catch you later.